Hi everyone, I'm Eden, your host for BNB's YouTube channel. Today we are at M Studio and we'll be talking to the talented Mr. Choi Jutso, the music director, producer, and composer of M Studio, Ovid, and also the founder of M Studio. He's the first person to bring B pop in the country. I always wanted to do something when it came to music, and uh, you know, I, I was always in one way or the other involved in music, either singing or dancing or playing uh, a musical instrument for someone else. And uh, yeah, even in college, I was involved with music. I had a band, I was doing the sounds. And so one day I just happened to you know, discuss the idea with uh, an uncle of mine. And he said, yeah, maybe we should do something about it together. When we started off the studio, there was no space for independent music because the only music that was available at that moment were for the films. Of course, there was the Norling era before that, but right in between when the digital era began, there was this huge gap because the only music and the songs which you'd hear was for the films, right? I realized that the type of music I was doing wasn't really the type of music that was wanted in the market. By that what I mean is, it's not really the kind of music where people were willing to pay for back then. It was very different. So the struggle was either conforming to the type of music which was already in the market, giving the people that, or doing what I wanted. When it comes to music out here, I hear a lot of my friends saying that, you know, there's no market for this and, you know, the market is too small or, you know, you know basically the population is too less. And I've, I see the opportunity in that aspect. You know, if there's no market, create a market. So that means there's a scope to create because that is what we did as well when it came to music because that time B-pop was not a thing at all. To take it as a career, what we do at the moment so that we could make music our full-time career is that we work in different aspects of what the studio offers to us, which is like advertisements, you know, narration and uh, you know, doc, small documentaries here and there, because that is what the market offers. That is where the money lies at the moment. So we do that, we earn from that, and then we put it in our music. You know, there'll always be ups and downs, but you need to keep adapting and, you know, find a solution or at least try and find a solution and keep moving, moving ahead. So you shouldn't give up easily. You need to keep trying it. There might not be any results, but you need to keep trying it, trying it. And then after that, you know how far you've progressed, how things are working. But at least a year or two, you need to keep trying. <laughs> 